Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Uh, as you can see, this is a much different setup than I usually do, and uh, I just wanted to do something a little different. Um, so as most of you know, um, the coronavirus is kind of making things difficult for a lot of different things, and one of those things was the uh, release of Acoria, which was postponed um, quite a bit. But uh, thankfully, uh, about a week ago, uh, Acoria was available to be bought and shipped um, around uh, the different countries. Um, so yeah, so I took that opportunity and bought myself, uh, three collector's boosters. Um, these are supposed to have, uh, a lot of, uh, foils in them and a lot of rares, so I thought it'd be cool to just kind of open these as opposed to regular booster packs. Um, they're kind of expensive, so only one of you didn't buy a full, um, pack, or for, for full box. Not really necessary, but figured I'd open these up and just show them, and, uh, it'd be fun. Don't really have uh, anything really in mind um, that I want to open for these, um, but yeah, and uh, don't want to delay too much. Let's, let's just go ahead and open these. All right. All right. Okay. So it starts off with a foil token. It looks like we have the one one dinosaur with haste. So that's kind of cool. Very shiny. I like that foiling actually. That looks really nice see that there oh that's really beautiful oh look at that i think this is if i could open any of the comments this would be it look at that beautiful foiling that is really nice all right liking that survivor's bond ah, wow the foiling in the set is fantastic I'm very impressed by this i don't know if it's just for the i don't think that there's no special foiling for the collector's boosters but that is very nice Here, I'll put those side. Let's put those over there. The Spell Eater Wolverine. They have like the lightning, lightning in the top right. That looks cool. Nice. We have Bushmeat Poacher. Okay. Primal Empathy. Well, this is a very powerful card in uh, in the draft format. It's kind of cool. I like the I like the artwork for this card. Ooh, easy prey. That's a good one. That's very nice. Wow, we got some great uh, great common zone comments here so far. Uh, pretty satisfied with that. We have a swamp. Is our foil land? Very nice. And then we have some non-foil cards. So this one, I believe, is from the Commander decks. So we got Kelsian, which is a Mardu uh, uh, legendary creature. Two to ha Vigilance Haste is plus one, plus one for each experience counter you have. Deals one damage to target a creature you don't control. When that creature dies this turn, you get an experience counter. Very interesting. Huh. Very cool. Interesting... Uh, Potential commander. Oh, look at this. We got a full art shovel bane of monsters. That's pretty cool. Very nice uh, extended art on the sides there. And yeah, you can see a little bit on the right. There's there's more of that art kind of. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we have a hunted nightmare. I think I did a video where I had a draft of this card, or I think I did maybe maybe on stream was where I had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very interesting. Uh, Foiling is not doing this card too much uh, service, but still nice. All right, and we got, ooh, Alt Art Cavern Whispers. Very cool. That looks very nice. I love the, the claw that's coming out into the art. Very nice. Oh, and there's not even, so you see at the top left, there's, you know, kind of what you'd see at the top of a normal magic card but then it kind of disappears off the right. I like that. I like that effect. I don't know if other cards do that. Oh, here we have another one. We have Necropanther. So actually it doesn't. It's, you can see you can you actually do have uh, the rest of uh, the uh, heading up there. Um, but very cool. Again, loving the, the going into the text box. You can see down there. Um, yeah, very cool. All right. Uh, all right, ooh, we have a, a land here. We have the Ketria Triome. 
the Teamer Land. Very nice, very beautiful art here. Really loving that. Take a closer look at that. All right. Oh, and so cute. We have Baby Godzilla, Ruin Reborn, also known as Polylug Symbiote. Loving this. So cute. And it's a... Uh, I didn't realize this was a frog. Well, I guess the, the uh, poly, actual Polylux symbiote art is a frog, but very cool. All right, and then we have our foil alt art, the Parcel Beast. Actually, very nice uh, pull here, because this is actually played in standard. Um, and foil name is pretty nice, as you can see that there. And, uh, wow, this alt art is very fancy. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be. I guess it's an ele elemental beast, but very fancy. Wow. Much, much more um, interesting to look at than the um, OG Parcel Beast. All right. So that was the first pack. As you can see, a lot of cool stuff just from one pack. Um, very happy with that. You, I mean, kind of you got your value because of just because of the, the Triome uh, and the Shovel. I believe I'm not too sure on the um, exact value of those cards, but um, I can find out. Um, but well, I'll I'll do that uh, after at the end. I'll put that in the comments and, or in the description uh, and and just show the value of each pack, just to kind of demonstrate. Because I know there's these these are pretty expensive, and that's why I didn't buy too many of them, but. Uh, you do kind of get good value out of these, I feel like. Uh, obviously, that's just value. You should open these to get the cards you want, but if you're just like, I want to open cool cards, or I want to open, you know, I want to open money, these might be a good option, but we'll see. All right, so our token here is the 3-3 uh, three, three Beast. Very cool. I believe this is the one that's made by Vivian. Um, but very, very vibrant colors. I'm really liking the foiling of these tokens. Very cool. All right. Oh, cool. We have a Draineth Healer. Another card that is played in standard at the moment. The cycling deck. We did a video on that. And very nice. I love the the satchel. Kind of has some uh, some good foiling on it. Spontaneous flight. Okay. Very cute art. I love the fox, the, the flying fox there. Spring jaw trap. Mm, I, I like how the metal, the metal looks good with the foiling. Blazing volley. Okay. Actually, that looks really good. Oh, fire art to me always looks good with art. We have a second foil primal empathy. Very cool. So if we end up building a deck with that, we have to have two foils. Uh, Sonorous, Sonorous Howl Bonder. Jesus, a mouthful. Uh, yep. Yeah. Card that's pretty successful in draft if you can build around it. Um, very interesting art here. Not exactly sure what's going on with the dude to his left. It's like a ghoul who's like trapping him. I'm not sure. We have ourselves an island as our foil land. Pretty nice art here. It's kind of, yeah. Not a lot of island. It looks more like a forest because of all the trees in the back. But, all right. We have Daring Fiend Bonder from the commander set. Four mana, five one haste, attacks each combat if able. Two mana, exile it from your graveyard, put an indestructible counter on target creature, activate this only any time you can cast an instant sorcery. So very interesting. So kind of like a, a big threat that you kind of don't want to don't want to kill, because then they, they can just make anything indestructible. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure what type of deck this wants to go in. Um, but it's not to me it doesn't seem that powerful, especially since it's a one time effect. It'd be one thing if um it died and made you know and, and you could pay mana and make it something indestructible, but all right. Ooh, we have uh, Full Art uh, General Kudro of Drenith. Potential card um, for uh, Pioneer, for the Humans list, and also sometimes for Modern. So we'll see what this card does. Um, yeah. 
Very interesting. Ooh, <laughs> this is spicy. I have a foil classification. I have to say, the, the full art and the foil is beautiful. You can see on the right that um, over here that the card um, is very, very, um, gets, gets a lot of extra art over there. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, some people I believe have tried to like fling, use that with fling, and that's, that's kind of hasn't been doing too much, but all right. We have uh, Alt Art Migratory Great Horn. Also sees play uh, in standard in the mutate decks. Very nice. This I think looks, I can definitely more tell what, that it's supposed to be the beast. Um, and it's kind of crashing through there. So very cool. I love the uh, the movement that's displayed in the art. All right, we have a Hunt Master Liger, another alt art. Uh, so it seems like you get about four to five alt arts. I I'll have to look back at that. But uh, yep, this card not too impressive. Uh, really hasn't done much besides maybe seeing play a little bit in um, limited. We have Zagoth. Zagoth Trium, the uh, the Sultai Trium, and once again, beautiful, beautiful extended art there, uh, as well as I believe this is alternative, right? This is alternative art. Yeah, I think all these are alternative alternative art. I don't remember the uh, art of the uh, of these lands, but these lands are looking very, very pretty. All right, and we got Dorat the Perfect, also known as Sprite Dragon, and. I think these are gonna be real nice. These these have seen play a lot so far. Um, lots of uh, um, spell sticks going on in standard and also in pioneer. Um, yeah, very very popular card. So uh, yeah, these kind of spells matters uh, creatures all always uh, tend to um, do well. And then we have ooh, shivering harvester alt art foil. Very very spooky looking art. Uh, this card seen, sees a lot of play in, in uh, Limited. Very, very powerful card there, but I uh, don't think it's doing anything anywhere else, but still, very cool-looking card. All right. So that was pack two. On to the final one. Again, very impressed. Uh, we've opened a land in each of these. I'm not sure if uh, a land comes in all of them, but if that's true, then um, the expected value of these is uh, pretty pretty. Uh, solid since uh, and the lands themselves are, are, are pretty pretty popular or, or have a have a pretty big price tag already. Um, but yeah, all right. Last pack of rowing. We have the uh, cat token as our uh, foil token. Not exactly liking the cat. Like I still love the foiling on these, but. The cat isn't looking too great. And we got Pacifism as our first card. Kind of got some shimmer with the... Actually, the butterfly looks really cool. You can't really see it very well. Oh, you can kind of see it there. The shimmer on the butterfly is really cool. Almighty Bushwag. All right. That's where the background shines really bright. We got Day Squad Marshal. Okay. Keep safe. Sees has seen a little play in standard. I think I've played I've I've played against the card at least once, uh, in some of the you know like spells decks or um, something like that. But other than that, I guess not that much. We have the Ketria Crystal. These are the first of the crystals we've seen. Let's take a look at this. I wish the crystal would pop out more. You can't see very well, but it's kind of just all one layer of, of um, foiling, which is which is fine. But I, I, I would have liked the um, the crystal to shine a little bit more. But all right. Still 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 very good looking. Uh, we have Swallow Hole. Not exactly a great day for that guy. Um... Pretty nice. Actually, you can see there's little lines you can see on the left there that kind of pop out well on the foiling. I like that. Um, again, loving the, the, all the movement that is displayed in the art of these uh, uh, cards. 
heavy planes. This is a really beautiful plane, so I'm really liking that. You know, the foiling's all right. Like, the foiling's good for this. Actually, the foiling, if you look at that, kind of looks like the sun, the sunset. So that's cool, but also just the trees um, are drawn so beautifully. So beautifully there. Very nice. All right, we have Lava Brink Floodgates as our commander card. Four mana for an artifact that adds two. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player may put a Doom Counter on Lava Brink Floodgates or remove a Doom Counter from it. Then if it has three more Doom Counters on it, sacrifice it. When you do, deal six to each creature. It's kind of just like a mana rock. Well, this is a, a ramp card for red. I had a conversation about with my friends that um, saying red red doesn't get a lot of ramp. Well, here's some ramp, and it's also potentially a, a board sweeper, but it has to be kind of diplomatic. But interesting card. All right. Ooh, very interesting. We have Genesis Ultimatum. Very, very cool card here. Uh, yeah, it's good for a lot of elemental decks that uh, in standard, and, and it, sees, it sees a little bit of play, um, but very ex um, expensive card mana-wise, but very nice art, um, as well as the extended art on the side. Um, very nice. Oh, look at this, and we have a second ultimatum, the Eerie Ultimatum. This card, I think, is seeing way more play um, just because of just dumping your graveyard uh, onto battlefield um, is, is very powerful effect. Um, the foiling here is really nice um, with uh, the little creatures and uh, the, their little accents. You can kind of see the little spots uh, in there. Very cool. Very nice. That's a good pull. Let's check the price on that. That might be something. We have another Huntmaster Liger. Again, not, not, not the best card here. Here we have Boneyard Lurker, uh, the uh, Golgari uh, Uncommon. Uh, again, very very powerful and limited. Don't think it's done too much in standard, but um, the art, the alt art here is very cool. I'd love to see that in foil with the, uh, the little smoke parts down here. Alrighty. I like how these look very like very unique um, compared to all the other alt art versions of cards and, and things like that. Uh, oh wow! All right, we have Dirge Bat. Very very scary looking guy here. Um, this is great because this card sees play a ton in standard, uh, in the Demir Flash decks, in uh, some some of the Mutate decks, um, but. Yeah, very powerful card. I underestimated this card originally because uh, I, th I kept looking at the six mana mutate and um, never really realized that you could just play it as a four mana three three at the end of your opponent's turn um, and then, you know, do a cheap mutate onto it, you know, like, um, you know, Parcel Beast or, you know, even even something like Boneyard Lurker and get get uh, its, um, its mutate trigger down there, so... Very nice uh, pull. Let's check the price on that. But cool. Very nice. Oh, this one's a good one. All right. We have a foil. Door at the Perfect, also known as Sprite Dragon. That is really nice. Foiling is gorgeous. You can actually see the little fish in the back. Has some good effects on it. Uh, the water. The water is really great. That is beautiful. Very happy with that. We'll see if we end up playing a Sprite Dragon deck, but I don't think we will. But it's still very nice to have. And last but not least, Pouncing Shore Shark. Very, very cool. I love I love that this, uh, the shark, uh, the other shark uh, arts, uh, or Shore Shark art, uh, doesn't look as much like a shark, or as the, the picture isn't as clear. And these, even though they're a little cartoony, uh, I can definitely tell that this is... Uh, a shark <laughs> but uh has seen a little bit of play in standard uh in the again in the mutate decks and some of the flash decks so very nice to have uh, most decks run at least one or two of these uh, of, of the of those kinds and also is uh pretty pretty strongly limited so could pull here uh, so yeah very nice here so that one notably did not have uh a land in it uh our rare for this one was Dirge Bat, as well as Eerie Ultimatum, uh, and Genesis Ultimatum. So, 
Um, yeah. No, no land in that one, but still, um, it's very likely that you, it seems, you know, pretty likely that, um, you might hit a land, so, uh, all right. Uh, that's gonna do it here. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and, um, show the price of, uh, the the whole all the different packs uh, in the in the description of the video just to give you guys uh, a sense of you know how much uh, what is the average value that you expect to get from these packs um, yeah so I hope this was enjoyable um, if you guys uh, end up um, you know um, getting some of these packs or just uh, other general um, products with a Cory in them uh, let me know how it goes um, you know so uh, yep. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know this was a little different, but um, yep. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.